updated eyewitness news, your weather authority app from your app store today. Now, from your weather authority, meteorologist Ron Rhodes. 0.03 inches. That's how much rain we have seen at the airport this month of August. <clears throat> and August is almost midway through. So we're a little dry. I think we're a little on the dry side. I think our garden guy, Charlie Stocker, would approve of that. Now, we're still running a surplus for the year, and we're still running uh, right about normal since the 1st of June. But boy, it dried out in July, and of course, very dry in August. Let's take a look outside right now at what we've got shaking on our Fence Pros camera there at Deacon's Gateway. Sunshine and plenty of it. Not plenty of humidity, uh, but it's getting plenty warm out there as we uh, take a look at that traffic at I-69, Highway 66. Looks like it's running pretty well, though, and a little bit of traffic downtown on Riverside Drive. Don't see any barge traffic out there on the river. It's our Thule Law Sky Camera high atop Fifth Third Bank. All right, here are the numbers out at the airport. Now, temperature-wise, again, we're well into the 80s. I mean, the temperature's been soaring. Mid-August sunshine and pretty much a straight dose of it this morning without a lot of clouds. North wind at around 8. Now, we're getting that north wind, and it's a slightly drier air mass that's moved in since the weekend. Of course, Saturday was the, the worst of the two days over the weekend as far as the humidity was concerned. And, of course, the humidity improved a little bit yesterday. Both days, though, we hit 90 degrees. And it looks like we could hit 90 again. But uh, the dew point at least is down into the low 60s, which is tolerable. And, you know, once it gets into the mid-60s, now, it was up to 67 early this morning. But, yeah, projections are showing that it's going to should stay 63, 64, 65 in that range uh, throughout the afternoon. All right, here's what we have temperature-wise. 72 degrees or 82 degrees in Fairfield, 84 in Tell City, 84 in Owensboro. Had some fog in Greenville this morning, 86 now, though. The, seen that temperature jump since the fog lifted and 86 degrees farther to the north in Vincennes. So we're all pretty much right there in the mid-80s currently. Dew point-wise, not quite as pleasant. Carmi and Flora, west of the Wabash. As you work east, especially up to the north, Vincennes at 60, 61 Princeton. There's our 63, so looking pretty good. No report coming out of Jasper. Now, it is 70 Tell City, 68 Owensboro, so a little pocket of uncomfortable humidity there along the Ohio River between Davis, Hancock, and Perry County. Check this shot out here. Hopefully, you got out this weekend to check out the Perseid meteor shower, and it peaked over the weekend. New moon, so we didn't have the moon competing against the meteors. Holly Johnson got this wonderful shot from Livermore, Kentucky. Of course, Livermore is away from a lot of lights. That always helps out. And I guess she had her camera set up uh, to just take constant pictures. There's the meteor streaking through the sky. And there is Holly, it looks like, uh, celebrating uh, that meteor shot. So thank you so much, Holly, for sending that cool picture my way. Love it. Live first warning Doppler radar showing us absolutely nothing. And again, I'm not expecting rain today. As we take a look at the bigger picture, you can go a long way and not have any significant cloud cover, let alone any rain. Our future tracker, though, continues to be a little too bullish on the rain chance and also the clouds that are going to be out there. We will see a, a little mix of sun and clouds, but certainly uh, plenty of sunshine for the rest of the afternoon. And I'm not banking on any rain. For most all of us, it's less than a 5% chance, and that's just not worth putting on the board. But uh, future tracker continues to do that. Now, other models are not showing that. Now, as we take a look at Tuesday, though, starting the day with sunshine, and then we will see a few more clouds move into the afternoon. And we might see a stray shower or two late in the day. The better chance is going to be west of the Wabash. And then as we head into Tuesday night, a few spotty showers out there. But the better chance of rain is going to really start to pick up on Wednesday. Here we are Wednesday, 7 o'clock, got a few showers out and about. Then it becomes a little more concentrated by the afternoon. Got about a 40% chance of getting rain where you are on Wednesday. Look at the rain really start to pick up too Wednesday night. As we head into Thursday, even better chance for rain. We're talking about a chance around 60%. To catch some rain. So hopefully we can fill up that rain gauge just a little bit if you're looking for some rain. I think a lot of you are. Here's my forecast for today. Sun and clouds, but a lot more sunshine than clouds out there. Not so humid, not compared to where we've been of late. And well, a warm high, almost hot, uh, upper 80s. Most of us in the upper 80s. We should see a few 90s out there, though. And we might see one here in Evansville for a third straight day. And 87 degrees tomorrow, 86 on Wednesday. So cooling a little bit with more clouds starting to work their way in and the rain chance starting to pick up a little bit, too. And again, the best chance of rain all week will be on Thursday. We've got our garden guy. He's got his beard really coming in. I mean, he keeps saying, I don't know if I'm going to keep it or not. But he keeps keeping it. That's what he does. And it keeps growing. And so is his knowledge growing. And you can tap into that knowledge. Give Charlie a call right now. 303-690-3000.